an affordable compact anamorphic lens for mirrorless cameras that is an actual lens and not an anamorphic adapter, this is what happens when a tripod company makes a camera lens. You might have heard of the Chinese brand called Siru, 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 uh, it's actually pronounced Siru, which is a company that makes great tripods and monopods. But out of nowhere, they made an anamorphic lens, which is really awesome for filmmakers. This is the Siri 50mm f1.8 1.33 times squeeze anamorphic lens. In all the craziness with this lens, even though it is the first lens that Siri made, this is a lens a lot of filmmakers have been wanting for years and competing in a very exclusive anamorphic market as only competing with brands are like Viasen and SR Magic. But compared to those, the Siri is much more affordable and also much smaller of a lens. But don't think because it's small and cheaper that it's worse, because the build quality of the Siri anamorphic lens is very good. And you can notice that it's made for filmmakers because it got a clickless aperture. However, missing on the focus ring is the focus gear. However, this is an easy fix by purchasing the Tilta seamless focus gears, which are very affordable and quite easy to make this lens into a proper cine lens with those gears. Also, it being small and lightweight, this is one of the few anamorphic lenses that you can easily use on a gimbal and also, of course, on a Steadicam without having a gigantic setup. Image quality of this lens is actually quite good as it's much sharper than I would have expected from any anamorphic lens wide open. Seeing this result from an 8K photo, I can see how much detail it still retains. Even though it's a 1.33 times squeeze, it does not result into an extreme oval bokeh. It does provide enough of an anamorphic filmic feel with the image. Of course, because it's an anamorphic lens, we can expect some anamorphic lens flares. However, in real world juice, these flares are not very noticeable also it's very hard to produce them so we don't have to be afraid that they would overpower the image. The Siri anamorphic lens is available in different mounts from Mark 4 thirds, Sony E mount and the Fuji X mount. I myself bought the Mark 4 third mount as I have adapters to change Mark 4 third to Sony E mount or to Nikon Z mount give me versatile use of this lens on different camera brands. Even though it is specified to be used on APS-C sensors or even Mark 4 third this lens actually covers a 1.2x crop. So you can actually use it on a Sony uh, A7 series full frame camera and use the clear image zoom to crop it into a 1.2 crop. However, I do suggest to use it on a 1.3 crop, especially if you have IBIS turned on, especially with the sensor moving about, it can cause some vignetting at some of the corners uh, with the IBIS. So if 1.3 times crop the vignetting won't be as noticeable or not uh, get into the shot. So for me, this lens is quite impressive, especially using it on the Sony. Uh, I found it have a really nice image. However, one of the drawback I do feel like is the close focus, which is at 85 centimeters, which isn't that close for a lot of close up shots. However, with using it on the Sony, you can use clear image zoom to crop it into uh, two times, give you more of a closer up shot. And that will enable you to get, of course, much closer up shots. Uh, other options that is available is to add a diopter on the front of the lens because there is a filter thread of 67 millimeter and you can buy like uh, plus one, plus two uh, like diopters to get a much closer up shot. I'm not quite sure if you can also use macro uh, rings on the back of this lens to get a close up shot. I'm not quite sure how uh, well that works with this combination because I don't have those rings. I can't really test that out. But overall, this is a very nice lens that I would use on my Sony full frame camera, but also on my Panasonic GH5, my Zcam E2, and it really gives me that nice, uh, yeah, filmic look with the anamorphic feel to it. Even though it's not like an extreme squeeze, like a two times or a 1.8 times like the Faison, uh, it is a quite nice of a look already and one thing is that this is 
quite a sharp lens and it wasn't uh, I didn't really expect it because with my previous experience with actual anamorphic lenses from uh, Faison and SR Magic and also uh, using old uh, anamorphic lenses converting them or adapting them to uh, cameras that they aren't all that uh, sharp wide open but this being super sharp wide open is actually giving me like a really nice image to use on different cameras and um, yeah this just gives me that nice more filmic feel with this lens with this being the first lens of Siri, this is quite an impressive lens and I hope to see more lenses from Siri, especially maybe a more wide angle or a more uh, tele with a macro function and especially getting like macro lenses to get a more close up shot. And right now, uh, yeah, I do feel like uh, they should have included the focus gear because these anamorphic lenses are really aimed toward filmmakers more than towards uh, photographers and yeah it's being with focus gears uh, it would be a little bit more nicer for filmmakers to directly use it with a follow focus or a remote follow focus and make the lens also directly a cine lens and uh, I don't feel like it would cost them that much more to add those focus gears because uh, you can like get those tilter focus gears uh, and put it on them but uh, yeah it would be just nicer if it was already built in so right now uh, I do feel like yeah this lens i definitely gonna use it quite a lot however I do feel like I need to have more different range because right now it's just only one 50 millimeter lens and it would be nicer to have like a wider angle lens like maybe a 24 28 or 35 and uh, yeah more teddy lens of course uh, met with a macro like a hundred millimeter uh, or maybe even like shorter like 75 but of course having that micro shots to enable me to get like really close up to products or really close up shots of uh, certain hands movements or like small details I want to capture in the shots. So I do really like this lens with this anamorphic feel to it and it does give you that filmic feel, filmic vibe with it. However, because it's just only a single lens right now, it does feel like uh, it just gives you a certain look, but uh, yeah, I hope in the future they would expand their lens collection to a bigger range and yeah if you are interested in purchasing this lens there will be links in the description below and also the focus gear for it and if you have any questions please comment below and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button here below thank you guys for watching be safe out there love you all and CD out